Hi, it's uh, Dr. Dave Fletcher here, and I wanted to uh, introduce a Fletch Flash to you, which we're going to call Mythbusters. You know, one of the things that we have been doing in CLA for a very long time is really work with chiropractors and work with their teams to really integrate the scanning into their office. And so we, we get confronted with a bunch of different questions that come up, and some of them are great, and some of them are really, like we said, myths. And so the reality is, is that one of the great myths that are that go along is if I if I have an X-ray, do I need a scan, or can I use scanning and X-rays, you know, in, in the same practice and in the same procedures? And if it is, well, isn't that going to make the the reporting like super long, and is it going to slow everything down? And the answer is is well, you should be using both, or you could be using both depending on your style of practice. Here's the bottom line: what's best for your patient? What's the most important thing that you're going to do to get them to understand not only that they need to work their way out of the you know, initial issue that brought them in, but most importantly, what is great for your patient? Well, the answer lies in structure and function. Here's the reality, is that we, every time we adjust the spine, we adjust the nervous system. And every time we change the tone of the nervous system, the spine changes through the action of the muscles and the, the activity of gravity. So the reality is, is that we need to be able to look at the combined structure and functional changes that are going to be happening and look at the neurology that run, that's running their lives. So it becomes this really important combination. We loved x-ray in practice. It was so important because, you know, one of the things besides looking for pathologies and the rest of that, even though that's just a, a screening tool for a chiropractor, is really this goal we have more than anything to help them understand that they have this intelligent design within their body, which is designed to organize at the highest level. So at all times, the nervous system is interpreting itself in its environment, and then what it's doing more than anything is sending the signals that matter to reorganize. Well, when we take a look at an x-ray, we're looking at this, this image that has many, many, many years, perhaps decades, of change built into it. This means that in the organizational process, the disorganization that was going on because of the subluxation interfering not only in the spinal regions, but in this reorganizational process has made the hardest tissues of the body warp and, de and deteriorate at times. So we can really look at a timestamp for how long this person has been subluxated by looking at the x-ray. Not to mention, as a large part of the component of a chiropractic adjustive care, we need to literally unwind the structural tension, not simply the neural tension. And the structural tension means that we have to find where misalignments and mispostural uh, uh, protocols are going on within that spine itself. And this is critical. So whether you're you know, looking to introduce the force to the spine that's going to change the nervous system or the introducing a tonal approach which is designed to change the way that the neural function is and that shows up in the posture eventually, you're going to need to look at both sides of the equation, both in the structure and the functional neurology. So we've always said it's a great strategy to look at both. It all really depends, and I'll say it again, is what's best for your patient. Here's what I believe is best for the patient. It's critically important that every patient have the idea and understanding that we adjust uh, lives, not simply spines. And what I mean by that is that by the time we show them that their nervous system is under the influence of the subluxation and the stresses in their life, it makes sense to them to keep under chiropractic care in a watchful and progressive way for the rest of their lives. It matters for them that they have their children checked, that their generational grandparents and, and great grandparents need to be checked as well. Why? Because chiropractic is a family affair. And to do that, we need to help them understand that structure and function work together. So the idea behind this short little fledged flash was to give you a little bit of a, an idea that if you are in a structural base, perhaps a CBP style practice, um, you need to know that by taking those patients down a neurologically stress-based journey and showing them the reports that show the functionality and the efficiency in the nervous system going forward, not only does it embrace what you're doing in terms of structural tuning, but most importantly, it gives them a rationale and a reason to look forward to using chiropractic for a lifetime of care. Hope that was helpful. Take care.